My digital tech project for 2018 was to create an Arduino-controlled, Bluetooth-enabled, solar-powered rover from materials I could buy from local stores and online. Firstly, I started off by creating a list of materials I would need to create the chassis and the electronics I would need to make it move. I already owned the most expensive part, which is what made the project possible in the first place. After creating a list of parts, I started generating a 3D model in SketchUp that looked roughly like what I envisioned and incorporated the components in my list. I then started the building process by visiting Mr. Arnold and getting him to cut four pieces of wood that were identical to the dimensions of the solar panel I had. After that, I made up a list of parts I needed from various online stores such as AliExpress and RS Components. After waiting a couple of weeks, the parts arrived, meaning I could start experimenting using an Arduino to control the various components. The coding started off with the default LED blinking sketch, which I edited to drive a linear actuator in and out in a loop. After I achieved this, I used one of the breadboards I acquired to prototype some of the electronics that would drive the motor and linear actuator using the Arduino. I used relays to do this due to their ability to be easily controlled with a 5 volt signal and their ability to handle high electrical loads that would be met by the motor and actuator. When I finished the first circuit prototype, it was only able to drive either the motor or the linear actuator, but not both at once. After I finished this, I started looking around online to find a way to bake Bluetooth functionality into the firmware for the Arduino. After ordering some more relays and a BLE module, I was able to start experimenting with the Bluetooth control side of the firmware. I tried out multiple solutions, including Arduino Blue, Bluetooth RC Controller, and Evo Thing Studio, but ended up deciding on Blink for its easy integration and the ability to use virtual pins on the Arduino, making the process of controlling the relays much easier. There were downsides to Blink that were almost enough to put me off, such as the reliance on a constant internet connection to my phone and the fact that communicating with the Bluetooth module can be finicky at times. The ease of use and ability to change things on my phone on the fly flipped me over to using Blink. While I was trying to interact control for both the motor and actuator at once, I was coming to a brick wall where the Arduino wasn't able to power more than one relay at a time. This resulted in me going to JCAR and buying another externally powered relay board so that I could operate both the motor relays and actuator relays at the same time. After this problem was solved, I went into the Blink app and sorted out the controls for the rover, including a joystick for general control and sliders for more precise control. While working on the electronics and firmware, I was also dedicating much of my spare time and money to buying parts that I could use to build the frame. Everything went smoothly with the frame, apart from the last couple of steps, which included attaching the wheels to the axle and the axle to the belt. to build the frame. Everything went smoothly with the frame, apart from the last couple of steps, which included attaching the wheels to the axle and attaching the belt pulley to the axle as well. 